What's going on everybody? Mike G here, the founder of Chrome Vending, and today I had a special opportunity to speak with another vendor from New York by the name of Dominique Barbados. So y'all go check out his channel. I'm going to leave a link down below because the man has multiple machines. Uh, he gives a lot of knowledge. He offers a lot of knowledge. He's been doing it for a while and he's a young man, 22 years old, and he he's also author of 14 different books. So I had the pleasure of speaking with him here today. We did a little podcast. We kind of interviewed each other. He interviewed me for his channel. I interviewed him for his channel. We spoke about the things that got us involved in vending and other entrepreneurship that we got going on. So y'all check out the video. I hope you like it. And let's get right into the video. But before we get into the video, y'all do us a favor and go down below and hit that thumbs up button. That way we can continue to bring good, informative videos to you and YouTube will continue to boost us up. Also, consider subscribing. That way you can get instant notifications every time we upload new videos. Go ahead. All right. What's up, Mike? What's going on, man? We've been trying to do this little uh, podcast for a while, man. So we finally got it taken care of. I'm super excited that we're on here. Super excited that we got to meet. And uh, finally, we're doing this. So let's get down to it. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I'm going to... Um... I'm going to start out by breaking down to my viewers exactly who you are and what you do. This is um, sure. this is Dominique. He lives up in New York. He's also got a vending route. For those of you who don't know, go check out his channel. Um, now, after I give you a little introduction, I want you to go ahead and explain to him who you are and sure. how you got into vending, like how you got started, what made you get started in vending, and some of the other things that you got going on. Yeah, sure. I'll introduce myself for you guys and then you can introduce yourself as well because I might be posting this to my channel, of course. So uh, what's up, everyone? My name is Dominic. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I live up in New York, as you just said. Uh, I have about a hundred and I think nine machines since I last looked. Um, a lot of those are gumball machines, uh, M&M machines, but I did transition now into... Uh, soda snack machines combo machines i'm also getting into atms and claw machines which mike is big into those now i've seen you getting all those machines and stuff um exactly and then i do a bunch of other things on the side i'm a published author i have 14 published books on amazon and i also have an entrepreneur community called enhance entrepreneurs which is a community for entrepreneurs to come together and grow their business more so online businesses but there's a vending group inside there as well but that's me, Mike. Introduce yourself for my channel, please. Okay, my name is Mike G from Chrome Vending. Um, I started my business. Uh, I really got serious probably the end of last year. That's when I really started getting serious with my YouTube channel. And um, the YouTube channel actually pushed me to put out more because I needed to put up more videos. So it, it actually motivated me to keep going. I, had, I started out with multiple uh, gumball machines. I started with one and grew. And I moved up to soda and snack machines, full line machines. And then recently I've graduated into arcade machines. I got some coin pushers and um, claw machines, gravity heel stacker. And I'm trying to build up some more arcade machines. I want to open up an arcade. But um, Very cool. on my channel, I talk about finding locations. Uh, I do collection videos, show, show how to talk to people, refills. Uh, repairing machines, buying machines, selling machines, um, just everything to do with vending. And I accept all vendors on there. I'd love to have more subscribers, more vendors to come into the community that I'm creating. Uh, I found Dominique here. I was looking through vending videos, which I always do on YouTube. And he had an awesome thumbnail. And that's really <laughs> what caught my attention. I saw he was into the same kind of thing I'm into. Had a similar amount of machines and type of machines that I did. So I reached out to him and super nice guy. Appreciate um, that. So definitely want to do a podcast with him and answer some questions. I always get a lot of questions about vending, but um, today maybe this is just the start of something new. Maybe we'll do more. I'm definitely looking forward to working with him in the future. And if y'all have any comments of things that you want to see us talk about, you can leave them down below and we'll definitely start trying to do this more often. Uh, we'll try to set up a regular schedule. On my channel, I upload at least once a week. I try to do two or three videos when I can. I don't have a set schedule for uploading. It's hard for me to keep to a, a schedule, but I do definitely get one video up a week. I'm going to try if I continue to do more work with Dominique here on a podcast and 
this thing goes well, we'll try to put up a regular podcast. And even if we do once a month, maybe twice a month, who knows? But um, we'll try to put some stuff together here. We're just going to test this one out and see how it goes. Uh, I want to reach vendors on his channel and I want for him to reach vendors on my channel so that we can all continue to grow as a community. He has things to offer that I probably don't. And maybe I have things to offer that he doesn't. So we all have our own message. And um, today we're just going to talk about a few different things. Uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions about how he got started, what got him into the business, things like that. And he can do the same with me. So that way your uh, viewers over there, there can get a good understanding about me. I have over a hundred videos up if they want to learn more as well. Yeah. And my, my viewers can get an understanding of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm super excited for what this comes out to be because I, I feel like uh, we do, we want to grow together. I, I don't think there's, there's much competition. Obviously we are vendors. We want my channel to be on your channel. People from your channel to be on my channel because we could grow a community this way. And obviously the more people that we have on each of our channels, it helps us in the long run too. Cause connecting with other vendors, is a really good thing for business. So definitely. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's Mike G for you guys, uh, for the people on my channel. But you got any questions for me? I don't have any just yet, but I, I want to know how you want to go about what you want to talk about. Okay, what well, I want I want you to tell me, um, what got you started in the vending? What what made you go out and buy your first vending machine? Like, do you have a story behind that? I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an awesome story. I actually love this story because I was in high school in. What was I in? I was in 12th grade and um, I had a girlfriend. I, I started really early. I was 17, I think, at the time. Yeah, I was 17. Awesome. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I had a girlfriend at the time and I was working a job at Staples and I didn't want to do the job. I didn't want to have a job anymore. I never lasted at a job longer than three months. That's my hugest thing. Even up until this point in my life, I haven't lasted at a job more than six months. So I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always had to be my own boss. But in 12th grade, I was like, I need to make passive income. I don't want to have a job. I want to be, at, be able to hang out with my friends whenever I want to hang out with them. So I Googled, I don't know. I, oh, I was reading the four hour work week and I Googled the word passive income, ideas to make passive income. And vending machines was like the third or fourth one. So I was like, all right, interesting. So I looked more into vending and then I looked into the gumball machines and I realized you can make maybe 10, 20, $30 a month. You could actually make more than that. I know you know that too, Mike. Obviously the yeah, average the might be- all depends on location. Absolutely. But the average, I think, for the industry is maybe 10, between 10 and $30. But some of my machines can make 100 bucks a month. It's crazy. Um, but I looked it up, and then I started with gumball machines. I Googled where I could buy them, and then I bought 12 Venstar 3000s off of Craigslist for 400 bucks. Um, and that's what I did. I started with 12, and here I am today. <laughs> Start, it sounds similar to me, man. I did All right, what's your story? Similar. What's your story? I, um, I definitely wanted to create some kind of passive income for myself as well. Mm -hmm. I had a moment in my life where, you know, I had lost everything and had to kind of start all over again. And um, I started from ground zero, man. I was working wow. four jobs and, you know, I was just trying to get it. I needed to buy a house and I, I couldn't get a credit um, alone, any of that. Cause like I said, I was back to zero and um, wow. So I was busting my butt working four jobs, seven days a week. And I said, I've read a lot of books on passive income myself. And I always thought about real estate, flipping cars, things like that. But, you know, the vending machine thing came across my way. And I said, I got to get a vending machine. <laughs> you know, even if I just, I'm going to start with something small. I didn't have much money. So I figured I'd go get me a vending machine. I was walking through a thrift shop and I bought a triple head Northwestern. Similar oh. to the uh, Vinstar 3000. Northwestern, though. <clears throat> yeah, it was. I paid $75 for it. It needed work. It wasn't like, it was, it was an older version. It was dirty. I cleaned it up and put it in some of these little jobs I was working. And I never left it anywhere. I'd take it with me. And then as soon as I'd leave, I'd take it with me again. I didn't trust it to leave it there. <laughs> so I don't know. I did that a little while. I gathered some quarters up in it. I don't know. Maybe I made $17 or so. I didn't make that much money with it. It ended up sitting in my patio for a while, like eight months, almost another year, you know? Wow. And um, I was working like uh, as a bouncer security kind of in, in some nightclubs around here. And I asked one of the guys, I said, hey, man, would it be okay if I uh, put one of my vending machines in here? 
Because I noticed like around two in the morning, everybody is drinking. People want something to eat. A lot of those clubs don't offer food. So I said, okay, I probably can make a little money in here. People get a sweet tooth. They want some gum, uh, candy, whatever. They're drinking beer, maybe some peanut M&Ms. So I asked the guy, he said, yeah, go ahead, put it in. So I came home and they gave me like a, a motivation to go and clean it up real well. I scrubbed it out again, cleaned it up uh, from the old candy crumbs that were in there. I spray painted it, went, went to Walmart, got some spray paint, spray painted it real nice. I love it. it newspaper, spray painted it, made it look super nice and went and put it up. And I left it in there for, for four weeks, almost a whole month. All right. Not worked on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went back that fourth Friday. And I opened it up. It was $30.25. <laughs> so I said, I said, okay. And there was still a lot of candy in there. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. And I started thinking, I said, if I had 10 of these machines, you know, $30 isn't that much, but I didn't have to work for it. I figured if I put up 10 that's, and I keep a consistency of $30, that would be $300 at the end of the month. $300 a month. You know, that's a, that's a good little bill. Absolutely. So, uh, I figured if I put up a hundred, that's 3000. So obviously I'm thinking in the long term, it's not something that's going to happen overnight, but I figure if I put up three machines and then I decide not to mess with it for two months, and then I go back and I put up two more machines, I'm still drawing income from those other three and those two, that's five little accounts that I have out. Absolutely. Then I might not do anything for a month or two. Then I might go back out and go on a spree and put up seven. Now I got 12. Maybe I lose a location or two, but then I go back out. I put up seven more, you know, like as long as I continue putting them out, it's like another little account. Absolutely. Yes. But anyways, I started looking online cause I wanted to get at least another machine. And I found just like you did 12 machines, 12 Vin stars. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I didn't really want to take that jump. I only wanted to get like two or three machines. Okay. I didn't want to take the jump for 12, but for me, it was a good deal. I paid 75 for my first one. The guy had 12 of them for sale for 600. Okay. So I said, okay, that's $50 a piece. It's a lot better than what I paid for my first one. I said, okay, I'm going to go do it. I went and picked them up. I drove an hour and a half to Orlando, picked them up. And me, I, you know, I always like to get a little deal. I'm a little bit Jew. So I said, come on, man, cut me some slack, man. Give it to me for a little less. <laughs> of course, you got it. You got it. in this business. In this business, you have to negotiate always because people are negotiable. If the machine is not on a location and you want to buy it, you can get it for cheaper. That's my definitely, thing. definitely. But I was so lame at the time. I didn't. I didn't really know what I was doing. So yeah. I was like, man, mark me down, man. I give you five eighty-five. I should have shot a lot lower, but <laughs> <laughs> not that low. Not that low. So anyway, um, you know, that was like my first interaction with. Uh, wheeling and dealing with the machines. So yeah. I got those. I put them up fairly quickly. And I found another deal for f over 50 machines. Wow. And I went and got those. They were also Vin Stars. Oh, wow. And after that, I ended up finding a deal for over 100. And then I started selling a lot of them. Oh, wow. Way more than what I paid for them. But that's because I sprayed them up. I took the time, cleaned them up, made them nice. And um, I made I made my investment back a lot of my investment back really, really quick. And it's almost like I got a lot of my machines for free. Wow. But, um, very smart. Good way. Good way to start it. Definitely. Yeah. It, it was, that was over the course of, I started my YouTube channel last November. So I'm coming upon my year, uh, anniversary on YouTube next oh, month. Wow. Yeah. And I'm actually getting together with a couple of other YouTubers. We're going to get together. I know but, uh, I'm not disclosing the location just yet. Okay. But uh, <laughs> I actually invited you to go with us, but uh, you're unable. I wish unable, I be there. I wish you're I unable to there. go. But um, y'all look forward to those videos. Those are coming out at the end of next month. I'm getting together with uh, Jamie from Farnsworthy Vending and Ray as the Entrepreneur, and we're gonna do some collaboration videos together. But um, yeah, excited for that. We're we gonna have a lot more videos coming up soon, man. We're gonna have our opportunities to um to get together and collab live as well. Yeah, absolutely. We definitely will. I'm down in Florida probably two, three times a year. So we will definitely meet next time I'm in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I'm definitely going to be planning another trip up to New York as well. 
All right, everybody, I wasn't able to upload the entire video, so I'm going to upload it in a four part series and y'all be looking up for part two to this interview.